Now, before I uh, begin the story, I would like to say uh, one thing, and that is that uh, I did not bring revival to Lewis. It has grieved my heart again and again to read articles about the man that brought revival to Lewis. Notices on church boards, come and hear the man that brought revival to Lewis. My dear people, it's not true. I don't carry revival about with me in my pocket. Revival broke out in Lewis some time before I went to the island. I thank God for the privilege of being in its midst for over three years. I went uh, at the invitation of one parish minister for ten days, but God kept me there for three years. Now you might ask me, what do you mean by revival? There are a great many views held by people today as to what revival is. So you hear men say, are you going out to the revival meetings? We are having a revival crusade. And so on. There is a world of difference between a crusade or a special effort in the field of evangelism. My dear people, that is not revival. As I already said from this platform, I thank God for every soul brought to Christ through our special efforts and for every season of blessing at our conferences and at our conventions. We praise God for such movements. But is it not true that such movements do not, as a general rule, touch the community? The community remains more or less the same and the masses go past us to hell. But in revival, the community suddenly becomes conscious of the movings of God beginning among his own people. So that in a matter of hours, not days, in a matter of hours, churches become crowded. No intimation of any special meeting, but something happening that moves men and women to the house of God. And you find within hours, scores of men and women crying to God for mercy before they went near a church. You have read the history of revivals, the Jonathan Edward revival in America. That was what happened. Uh, the Welsh revival, that is what happened. And uh, the more recent Lewis revival, that is what happened. When God stepped down, suddenly, men and women all over the parish were gripped by the fear of God. 